It's July 9, and today in Philippine history, Andrea of Ilana Veneracion died in 2013 at the age of 84 in Quezon City. Andrea was born in 1928 to Macario of Ilana and Raimunda Cariaga and grew up in Manila. Her father, Macario of Ilana, was an Ilocano lawyer who was the highest-ranking Mason in the Philippines in 1959. Andrea attended the Philippine Women's University for high school and was also a competitive swimmer in her youth. She attended the University of the Philippines and finished her BA in music, majoring in piano and voice as cum laude. She traveled to the U.S. for advanced studies. She took an MA in voice at the Indiana University School of Music. Andrea returned to the Philippines to establish a chorale that will eventually be called the Philippine Madrigal Singers. She led them to victory in multiple competitions all over the world. Fate has surrounded Andrea with the best musicians the Philippines ever produced. In her youth, she played the piano for singer Jovita Fuentes, who later became a national artist for music in 1976. Lucrecia Casilag, who attended the Philippine Women's University a couple of years ahead of Andrea, would later become a national artist for music in 1989. Andrea herself became a national artist in music in 1999. She helped develop the next generation of musicians such as Ryan Kayabyab, national artist for music in 2018 and many others. Andrea died at home in 2013 and was cremated on what would have been her 85th birthday. Her necrological Logical service was at the Cultural Center of the Philippines and she now rests at the Libinga ng mga bayani. Her biography, A Life Shaped by Music, was penned by Marjorie Evasco. People say that music expresses what words cannot say and is the language of the spirit. Andrea Veneracion spoke that language very well. Odiba. Meow meow.